I'm a fan of socialized medicine. Why? Because it's cheaper, it covers everybody, and you have better health outcomes. And you don't have to worry about going bankrupt like the rest of the Western world, right? Anywhere you go in the Western world, they got this figured out. The only people who don't are the United States. And why? Because people like Rand Paul uh, demagogue it, and they call it slavery. Rand Paul has called universal health care and nationalized options slavery. Remember, Medicare for All is the most efficient health care program in the country, and it's the most popular. Uh, and, that's, and that's the government-administered program. With regard to the idea whether or not you have rights to health care, it means you believe in slavery. Medicare for All means you believe in... This is Ryan, Rand Paul saying this. Now, again, we like Rand Paul's foreign policy a lot. We like that he tells the truth about Saudi Arabia and Israel, and he shows a lot of guts doing that. We also like that his father does the same thing. Well, this is ridiculous. <laughs> it means you believe in slavery. Rand Paul said that in 2011. You are going to enslave not only me, but the janitor at my hospital, the person who cleans my office, the assistants, the nurses. You are basically saying you believe in slavery. Well, isn't that funny? He said that as a sober dude. Sober. He totally said that. And he's a doctor. He, yeah, he was for real. He's a doctor, and he said that. And guess what? He needs he needs hernia surgery, and he's going to go to Canada for it. What? <laughs> You're going to go to a slavery state? You're going to go to a slave state? People who use slavery for their medical care? You crazy diamond. I like that that's the... <laughs> You crazy diamond. That's the, they have when you on videos now they showed the uh what is that called when they put the words up? Uh the, the subtitles. subtitles. And uh that was just happened to be the screenshot that was you crazy diamond. So yeah, he's going to Canada, A eh, for surgery. What? They have the slavery medicine up there. Why would you go up to a place that has the slavery medicine? One of the fiercest political critics of socialized medicine, Rand Paul, will travel to Canada, A eh, later this month to get hernia surgery. Paul, an ophthalmologist, said the operation is related to an injury in 2017 when his neighbor, Rain Butcher, attacked him <laughs> while Paul was mowing his lawn. We remember that. The incident left Kentucky's junior senator with six broken ribs and a bru Six? Ouch. Six? Broken rib? You ever have one broken rib? Six broken I've, ribs? I've had bruised ribs before, and that's like that's enough because yeah, I mean, if you have six broken ribs, like breathing is oh shit, this sucks. This guy. I mean, that's how I felt with bruised so ribs. So Rand Paul's neighbor is a must be a maniac. You're gonna go crack six ribs on a senator, a sitting senator. <laughs> he is scheduled to have an outpatient her operation at the privately administered. Shouldice Hernia Hospital in Thornhill, Ontario, during the week of January 21st, according to the documents from Paul's civil lawsuit against the guy who broke his ribs. While Shouldice's Hernia Hospital is privately owned, like many Canadian hospitals, so the government doesn't own the hospital. Like, if, so if we have Medicare for all in the United States, the government isn't going to own the hospitals. The hospitals will still be owned by the people who own them now. The government will just pay the bill for the patients. That's all. Uh, and so, and this hospital he's going to in Canada, it receives a majority of its funding from the Ontario government and accepts the Ontario hospital insurance plan. Slavery. That's right. <laughs> Everybody who works in that hospital is a slave. That's right. Everybody, the janitor, the assistants, the person who checks you in. The hospital's website outlines payments it's, it accepts, including cash, check, or credit card for those patients like Paul who are not covered by Ontario's insurance plan or a provincial health insurance. So everybody in Canada are covered. Yeah, when they and, go and when, when he's writing that check to them, everybody in that hospital is going to be so jealous of his freedom. Yeah. They're ah! all going to be like... <laughs> <laughs> Kelsey Cooper, a spokeswoman for Paul, said the hospital is privately owned and people come from around the globe for their services. So that's his thing is privately owned. It's not. Yeah, I know. Again, you're trying to pretend you don't know how it works. Socialized medicine doesn't mean the government owns the, the hospital. We know that. But you're trying to pretend that's. Mm -hmm. So uh, Rand Paul, uh, it's nice when we catch you this easily.
Uh, yeah, I know he's paying his. I know he's paying his own money. I know it's a privately owned clinic. That's how sh- shit runs in Canada. And everybody in Canada who goes to that clinic, it's paid by for by the government. Slavery is according. That's according. So everybody who works there is now a slave, according to Rand Paul. So boy, talk about over the top hyperbole bullshit propaganda. And hey, maybe it's such a good facility because they can actually focus on helping people yeah. and medicine and not as paperwork. opposed to all the bullshit that we have to in the United States. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Uh Rand Paul, we love him on his uh love him on, on his foreign policy. We like to make fun of his hypocritical domestic policy. <laughs> We're announcing our live dates for 2019. We're going to Chicago and Portland, Seattle, New York, all over the country. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for all our tickets to all our shows. It'll be right underneath there, too. Please become a patron if you like our content and help support the show. You can become a patron for $5 a month, and we give you hours of bonus material. And make sure you're subscribed. They unsubscribe people every day. I'm not kidding. Make sure you're subscribed and click that bell so they give you a notice when we drop a video. It's the only thing we can do to fight back against the bastards. Thanks for your support.